Hello everybody. Nowadays, in the exams and instruction in the registration is to examine the eye and proceed according to your finding. How to examine the eye in the registration or in the in station 5? By examination of the eye, first look. You have to look to the eye to check if there is any tosis or not. And if the tosis is bilaterally, at this time, consider this patient may have bilateral cranial nerve palsy. Maybe he has Mancinia gravis. Maybe he has myotonia dystrophica. If the patient has unilateral tosis at this time, think in the local cause. Could be unilateral third cranial nerve palsy or could be could be due to Horner syndrome. First, look for the eyelid. Second, look for the pupil. If the pupil is normal or not. If the pupil is normal, or it is myo there is meiosis or mitosis. If the pupil is there is ptosis and the pupil is there is meiosis in the pupil, this patient has Horner syndrome. If there is ptosis and there is dilatation of the pupil and the eye shifted outward, downward, it means this patient has third cranial nerve palsy. After look for the eye, for eyelid, for the pupil, and also look if there is cataract or not. Cataract this patient may be cataract associated with ptosis. You have to think in myotonia dystrophica. Then start by checking the visual acuity, each eye alone. Use this needle chart or used any paper allows the patient to read or use your fingers. Check the visual acuity in each eye. Then start to check the visual field. If the patient has lost or diminution of visual acuity up to hand movement, please don't check the visual field in the affected eye. After that, you have to check the visual movement. Visual movement, you have to think in give your patient two instruction. Then. Ask your patient to express if he has two symptoms, and you have to look for two signs. Two instructions for the patient to fix his head and move his eyes to follow your finger. Tell your patient if you see double or there is pain, please inform me. And you look for nystagmus or interneocular of salmoplegia. Your hand should be at least 30 cm away from the patient's eyes. And first ask your patient, do you see double now? In the middle. If the patient is seeing double, ask him to cover one eye. If there is still double vision, it means that it is unilateral cause. I mean that in unilateral cause, it could be refractory errors, could be cataract. If the diplopia disappear and now the patient is C1, so it means this patient has binocular diplopia. The problem is how to interpret the binocular diplopia. To interpret the binocular diplopia, now we are in the center of the head, allow your patient to move to the right side. Your finger now in the right side, uh, your finger now, the patient is looking to the right side now. It means he use lateral rectus muscle of the right eye and left medial rectus muscle. He is looking to his right hand, so 
the patient is looking by his lateral rectus of the right eye and the medial rectus of the left eye. He see double now. There is two vision. Sorry, there is two votes now. One outside and one inside. Which eye affected? It is lateral rectus or medial rectus? It is lateral rectus of the right eye or medial rectus of the left eye? Tell the patient to cover his left eye now. If the outer image is disappeared, it means that the problem in the left medial rectus muscle. If the outer image not disappear, allow the patient to tell the patient to cover his right eye. If the outer image disappear, it means that the problem in the lateral rectus muscle. Again, the patient look to his right and he see double vision in his right. Two photos beside each other. It's called vertical diplopia. At this time, the problem could be in the lateral rectus of the right eye or in the middle rectus of the left eye. Tell the patient to cover his right Sorry, tell the patient to cover his left eye. If the outer image disappear, means that the problem in the left rectus muscle, left medial rectus muscle. If not disappear, tell the patient to cover his right, left eye, sorry, right eye. If the outer image disappear, it means that the problem in the right lateral rectus muscle. Then check all direction like that. After you examine the eye movement, look for light reflex and accommodation reflex and swing test. Do first accommodation reflex. Allow the patient to look for a far object, then suddenly go by your finger in front of his eyes and look for conversion. For light reflex, tell the patient to tell the examiner I, you would like to dim the light, then start by doing the light reflex direct and indirect and look for the eye. To check if the optic nerve affected or optic tract affected. Then do swinging test. Now how can you proceed? During examination of the eye, if you find the patient has Horner syndrome, you have to look for the neck for any scars. Till the examiner you would like to check do sweating test and should be do him tell him formal sweating test to differentiate if the region in first order neuron or second order neuron or third order neuron when you look for the eye of the patient you find the patient has bilateral ptosis and there is evidence of myotonia dystrophica then after finish your eye examination, go to examine the upper limb. Full neurological examination, tomb power reflex, and coordination. If you find this patient has evidence of my senior grievance, tell the patient also to tell the examiner you would like to examine the upper limb. By the way, when you do eye movement, you have to do eye movement vertically as well. You have to do horizontal and you have to do vertical. Horizontal means in the same direction and vertical up and wait up for 5 to 10 seconds. If there is stosis, it means this patient has mycenia gravia. If you find this patient has nystagmus, go to examine the upper limb for cerebellar signs, then go to the lower limb. 
if this patient has intranuclear ophthalmoplegia, go to examine the upper limb for cerebellar signs and proceed for lower limb. This is the brief for eye examination. I hope that it will be helpful for all candidates. Again, for diplopia, be sure about the diplopia. It is which muscle affected. It is in all direction or not. Thank you.